getting angry with the judge, arguing with their decisions, and trying to retaliate. Ugh. It's like that Aquaman Starlet has never ever learned. Then again, of course they're angry and desperate. What they want to fight about is a decision that cuts to the validity of the evidence presented. It questions whether or not all of that is real. So, of course, they retaliate when things don't go their way. They try to play the whataboutism card, say, what about his devices, just like they did with charity? What about his donation? And like I said, it doesn't stop there. There's arguing with the judge's decision, saying, you need to do what I say. Ah, this stuff, it is almost magical sometimes, right? Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Oh man, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you were doing excellently. And you know this type of retaliation, it has cost that certain Aquaman starlet the goodwill of multiple courtrooms. Why? Because I think the judges, they get fed up with this and beyond. That being said, I can understand why they would be desperate enough to retaliate, to argue with the judge, basically trying their goodwill and patience. Why? Because when people start started scrutinizing this evidence, well, you can see it right here. Metadata inconsistencies. Look how many yeses pop up from this stuff right here alone. Yeah, dates not matching up. Edits where edits shouldn't be. I mean, this, again, this could tank the entirety of their case. Now, if you don't understand what this is all about, I'm going to let that certain Aquaman starlet explain it to you. Remember, when we're looking at this, too, this is how the document starts out. So, right away, they're going to start arguing with the judge. They're going to pull out the pettiness, the vindictiveness, the whataboutism. This is what their case looks like. Oh, it doesn't look good at all. Quote, Previously, the court granted and denied, in part, cross motions to compel forensic discovery of the party's devices. So right from go, that certain Aquaman starlet tells you this is about metadata questions and metadata inconsistencies. If you don't understand that, by the way, that's questioning the validity of evidence. See all of these pictures here? The ones that are supposed to prove things. Well, metadata consistencies, they don't just show up there, they show up in abundance. We're talking about edits where there shouldn't be, talking about time, date inconsistencies. Like that certain Aquaman starlet will tell you here, this decision, not only did it not go the way that they desperately needed, but when they tried to retaliate against JD, it got struck down. Quote, the court denied that certain Aquaman starlet's motion, quote unquote, at this time because it was quote unquote overbroad and there was no specificity and quote there still has to be a nexus shown. Now I love this part here because it's damage control for arguing, being vindictive, and basically losing rulings because of that. Quote, the court granted in part JD's motion and ordered targeted forensic discovery of that certain Aquaman Starlet's devices. Look at how they describe their reaction to Again, damage control here. That certain Aquaman starlet immediately embraced the court's ruling. Immediately embraced. Oh, I love the court. I'm not going to argue with them at all. And served discovery seeking specific and targeted inventory of JD's devices. So again, they went in. They embraced all of that. While, of course, we're retaliating. But that's not what we want it to sound like. Now, here's where the arguing and salt comes in. Because how dare the court question the specificity of what we filed and the beautiful thing about this, at the very end, you'll notice they pretty much admit that this is retaliatory. We filed the same thing that he did. Listen to this. So this inventory, it included only the devices and cloud accounts JD certified were in his custody and bore relevant ESI. Yet JD, he refused to produce. That certain Aquaman starlet then requested multimedia for that certain Aquaman starlet for JD and property damage during the specific periods the parties accused each other of, I'm going to say, accosting one another 
and JD's finger injury, JD agreed to limited production and refused forensic imaging. Now listen to this sentence here. So, that certain Aquaman starlet prepared a consent order nearly identical to JD's order. So, we pretty much we copied his because we're retaliating. We're mad because he got our devices, but he refused to agree and has not produced any responsive data. Now what is absolutely crazy, and I'm sure the courtroom noticed this, I'm sure this is part of the reason that they struck all of this down, is because you not only have that order carbon copied, you also have everything they said about experts. I mean, listen to this. This is what JD's expert talked about, and hey, suddenly, that's what that Aquaman starlet they're talking about, too. So it's supported by expert testimony that certain Aquaman starlet requests this inventory and forensic imaging of JD's relevant metadata to test the authenticity, manipulation, and deletion since much of the multimedia produced by JD lacks quote-unquote creation date metadata, no information to support when it was created, reflects it was created after JD filed this lawsuit and or was manipulated immediately before the production to that certain Aquaman starlet. Only forensic imaging will reveal when the date was created, if it was manipulated or edited or deleted. Now to prove this, by the way, I want to show you a couple of shots by JD's expert. Here, for example, he was talking about looking through pictures from December 2015. They had come from an Apple iPad Pro 10.5 inch and telling you the chart below, it identifies unedited copies for each image. And you notice this footnote here. Quote, photos from the iPad Pro 10.5 inch were created on or after the 6th of October 2018. As such, any editing of the trial bundle version would have been on or after the 6th of October 2018. So you see the claim there about dates. You see the claim about editing. He made that claim. Therefore, you got to make it carbon copy. Go after him because again, vindictiveness and beyond. And when you start looking through the evidence, you understand of course they're being belligerent. Of course they're yelling and trying to defy the judge because they need to flip the script. I mean, if you look at all these pictures here, for example, notice all of the inconsistencies. Some of these they are glaring too. We're talking about photographs that were taken years after the fact. We're talking about items that don't come from the same devices yet. They're supposed to come from the same time frames of of course they wanted to play the whataboutism game. And of course they're angry when the judge says no. At the end of the day, remember, all of this, it's about sidestepping culpability. What about? What about him? What about him indeed? But anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. As always, appreciate you. Can't say that enough. Thank you for being here. If you want to help out the channel, links in the description. We can always use your help with stuff too. So check out everything. We have memberships, merchandise, and beyond. You being here though, like I said, that is the most important thing of all. Thank you. Sincerely, I mean that. Ending here again. Thank you. See you soon.